Good morning. Our lesson for today is unit rate. Whenever we talk the unit rate, it is used to compare quantities in which the second quantity is 1. Now, to find the unit rate, divide the numerator by the denominator and express the answer in both units. So, let's have our example number 1. So, the cost of three erasable pens is 225 pesos. So, what is the unit rate? Now, in order to find the unit rate, we would like to get the things being compared, namely, the three erasable pens and the amount in pesos. So, I can write that in fraction form. So, 225 pesos all over three pieces. Now, again, I'll divide both numerator and denominator by 3. So I have here 3 divided by 3 is equal to 1 and 225 divided by 3 is equal to 75. Then I can write this one as 75 pesos all over 1 piece. I don't need to write 1 anymore. So I have here the unit p uh, rate as 75 pesos per piece. Let's move on to the second example. Find the unit rate of a car that traveled 285 kilometers in 5 hours. Again, the things being compared here or the quantities being compared are kilometers and hours. So I had 285 kilometers all over 5 hours. Then think of a number that can divide 5 and 285, which is actually 5. So 5 divided by 5 will give us 1 and 285 divided by 5 will give us 57. So in ratio, uh, in fraction form, I have 57 kilometer all over 1 hour, or the unit rate is 57 kilometers per hour. Let's move on to the third example. So what is the unit rate of 2,700 tickets to 18 booklets? Again, I'll write the ratio of 2,700 tickets and 18 booklets. Then divide both numerator and denominator by 18. So 18 divided by 18 will give me 1. And 2,700 divided by 18 will give me 150. So in fraction form, I have 150 tickets all over 1 ticket. Or 150 tickets per booklet. Okay, let's move on to the next example. So how much is the consumption rate if your water bill amounted to 1,305 pesos with 29 cubic meters use? Again, I'll get the ratio of 1,305 pesos all over 29 cubic meters. And divide both numerator and denominator by 29. So I have here, okay, 45 all over 1. So... Okay, in fraction form, I have 45 pesos all over, all over 1 cubic meter. So, we have 45 pesos per cubic meter. Now, to summarize our discussion for the unit rate, again, unit rate is used to compare quantities in which the second quantity is 1. And, to find the unit rate, divide the numerator by the denominator and express the answer in both units.